Hello, uh, another video. i uh, show you what I've learned recently. Um, I had to stop the wheel uh, the following morning after my last video. Uh, it wasn't very efficient at all. It was down to like 12 volts. Um, I thought my pot was, uh, was messed up, uh, so I changed it. But anyways, I, uh, I was thinking about what Help Monkey said and um, started thinking about the coils. Uh, first of all, I tried uh, another wheel. Uh, so I had two wheels, a uh, south, south side and a north side. Um, they both ran. The bearings on my second wheel weren't as good as the ones on this one. But it did run, and uh, I didn't get as any more, um, any more current coming out of it than I am right now. Or was, I should say. Anyways, uh, I was thinking about what Help Monkey said, and um, he's very helpful. <laughs> Don't know if he's a monkey or not. Anyways, um, he said to concentrate on the coils, so I made this coil. Basically took the wires off one of the bigger um, Bedini-like coils that I had, um, and put it on this smaller coil. And it's much, much, much more efficient. I started this last night, um, I don't know, 10 o'clock-ish, and uh, it was at 12.21 when I started it. Uh, my battery was a little depleted from last time I made a video because I was messing around with it, running it, trying to get it to run by itself, all sorts of things. Anyways, I'm back to this. I've got this other coil. I wanted to show it, show it to you and share it with you that this coil is much, much more efficient than one of those bigger ones that I was using. Just barely, I mean, it's down uh, 0.06 volts over 12 hours. <clears throat> but anyways, the ohmage, uh, the resistance in this coil is 25.8 ohms as opposed to this bigger coil uh, which was about 5 ohms. Now these are made with uh, 23 and 26 gauge magnet wire as prescribed. Um, this one is a little smaller gauge. That's like uh, it's like 26 and 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one of these coils. I've got a little more magnet wire from actually I'm going to try and salvage from some old uh, computer monitors. I got about five carcasses out in the driveway. Uh, I harvested the um, big capacitors. Uh, they have nice capacitors in them, like uh, 400 volt, 220 microfarad um, capacitors. But anyways, they have uh, magnet wire obviously in them as well. I'm going to try and see if I can harvest some of that, make another coil. If not, <clears throat> I just sold a poker table, so. Uh, Maybe I'll go blow it on some more magnet wire. I'm trying to use as much junk as I can. The wheel's junk. Most of this stuff is junk. Help Monkey could appreciate that. We're cheap Canadians. <laughs> uh, but anyways, wanted to share all that with you. Um, I'm going to keep this wheel going uh, while I work on another coil and I'll keep you updated. And hello to uh, all my buddies that I correspond with. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Uh, it's like 26 and 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one of these coils. I've got a little more magnet wire from... Actually, I'm going to try and salvage from some old... Uh, computer monitors. I got about five carcasses out in the driveway. Uh, I harvested the um, big capacitors. Uh, they have nice capacitors in them, like uh, 400 volt, 220 microfarad um,
capacitors. But anyways, they have uh, magnet wire up just barely, I mean it's down uh, 0.06 volts over 12 hours. <clears throat> but anyways, the ohmage, uh, the resistance in this coil is 25.8 ohms as opposed to this bigger coil uh, which was about 5 ohms. Now these are made with uh, 23 and 26 gauge magnet wire as prescribed. Um, this one is a little smaller gauge. That's like... Hello! Uh, another video. i uh, show you what I've learned recently. Um, I had to stop the wheel uh, the following morning after my last video. Uh, it wasn't very efficient at all. It was down to like 12 volts. Um, I thought my pot was uh, was messed up, uh, so I changed it. But anyways, I uh, I was thinking about what Help Monkey said and um, started thinking about the coils. Uh, first of all, I tried uh, another wheel, uh, so I had two wheels, uh, south south side and a north side. Um, they both ran. The bearings on my second wheel weren't as good as the ones on this one but it did run and uh, I didn't get as any more um, any more current coming out of it than I am right now or was I should say anyways uh, I was thinking about what help monkey said and um, he's very helpful <laughs> don't know if he's a monkey or not anyways um, he said to concentrate on the coils so I made this coil basically took the wires off one of the bigger um, Bedini-like coils that I had um, and put it on this smaller coil and it's much 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 more efficient I started this last night um, I don't know 10 o'clock ish and uh, it was at 12.21 when I started it uh, my battery was a little depleted from last time I made a video because I was messing around with it, running it, trying to get it to run by itself, <laughs> all sorts of things. Anyways, I'm back to this. I've got this other coil. I wanted to show it, show it to you and share it with you that this coil is much, much more efficient than one of those bigger ones that I was using. 